Well, morning goes. Uh, this morning came into work and uh, we have a unit down. It's got a bad injector, guys. Uh, inject injector number seven, but this one is a um, one of those uh, VT365 6.0s. So uh, let me get to tearing this one apart so I can go ahead and replace that injector. Let me show you guys. This here's a unit in question, guys. Uh, on this one, uh, I already loosened the belt. I'm gonna replace, uh, remove this alternator. Get these wires taped up so they don't short up, and I'm gonna get to that valve cover, and I gotta get to that last injector. On the VT365, it's a uh, 2468, and it's 1375, kind of like a Chevrolet engine. So, 135 and 7, sorry. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that last injector out of there. Hopefully, it is a bad injector and not a uh, rocker arm assembly that's cracked or a lifter that's messed up because we found some of those and uh, those are a pain in the butt. The engine has to come apart just to get that lifter out. So, on this end, let's hope that it is just a, a simple injector and not a uh, lifter is damaged. So let me go ahead and start tearing this one apart. alternators off so let me go ahead and uh, get that uh, valve cover out of the way Well guys, uh, valve cover's off. Remember, we're going to take injector 7, which is the last one. So we have to remove that little oil pressure rail right there to be able to access that injector. So we still got a little bit more, more to go. And let me go ahead and get my Torx bit so I can go ahead and remove that uh, oil rail. Alright guys, those are the little bolts. It looks to be like a T... 30 so let me go ahead and get that off Well guys, uh, we got all the little torques, little bolts off of it. Let me go ahead and pry that oil rail out. And uh, let me get that injector out of the way. So, let me go ahead and continue with this one real quick. Well guys, uh, those are your injectors. As you can see, it's got a hole down and that little uh, torx, it's a T45. This is one, three, that's five, and then there's seven right there. That's all we're gonna remove. And then the harness goes through the head. We've got that little clip. And of course, we gotta undo that connector so you can pull that harness into the head. So let me go ahead and remove that. Let me try and do it on two, two, two times so you guys can see how this gets done. Alright, give me one second. First thing I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go ahead and get this T45 little tool in there and loosen up that injector hole down.
There's a hole down. You see this clip, this little wire clip right there? You push it inward, it'll release both of the holders on the sides, and you'll be able to pull this harness out. Well, on these injectors, on top it's got little plastic little like clips that extend outward and clip onto the head what you do is you get yourself a socket or a pipe that'll go through it that'll bring those two little pegs in so you can pull it out on this one i use a screwdriver guys but let me show you See there? These are the little clips that actually hold onto the head. So you gotta depress them on both sides so that this little connector will come out of the head. So here's the bad injector. So let me go ahead and wait for the new one to come in so I can go ahead and install it. Well, guys, uh, one of my co-workers got an injector back in place so I didn't get to do it myself so I didn't get footage on it but I'm gonna go ahead and continue on this one and finishing it up I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, oil reel on there and uh, well cover the sucker up and hopefully it'll start up for us and uh, function properly so let me go ahead and continue guys all right Well guys, rails on, so next is a uh, valve cover gasket. Hey guys, I got that valve cover back on, so let's get the low plug miter. Well guys, let me just get that belt back on in place and uh, we should be ready to start the sucker up, see what it does. Well guys, let me go ahead and crank it over, let me see what it's going to do. I'm going to leave the camera here and see what the engine does.
a little loud, but I'm going to call this one done. Two of those two, my first one's going to work on. No parent slowly.